secret weapon if you give godlike powers to everyone it's going to be chaos so how do we stop him i know a guy scott i've been watching you for a while you're different and i believe everyone deserves a shot at redemption do you absolutely my days of breaking into places and stealing stuff are over. What do you want me to do? I want you to break into a place and steal some stuff. Makes sense. <laughs> so, Ant-Man. That works. They could have used that. <laughs> yeah, just done that over. I can't remember what the soundtrack was like, so yeah, they could have just thrown that in. I do not remember any of the music from that film. We've just oh. come from the cinema. Makes sense. Um, bit of a backstory to Ant Man. Edgar Wright, uh, famous for the Cornetto trilogy. So, Shaun of the Dead, Hot Fuzz, and uh, The World's End. Plus, and this is probably what led to uh, him being fired, maybe, or being sent his way. He also did uh, Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, which was a success with the fans and the success with people that saw it and the success with the critics but it didn't make money right? no lost 20 million mm. uh, and Joe Cornish famous for moving Star Wars toys and Attack the Box which is another movie I liked uh, so they got together they'd been working on Ant-Man prior to Iron Man so before Marvel became big and famous and all, all these movies came which out which would have been 2006 so what eight, a long time nine nine years yeah nine years they've been working this for a while They've got the big thumbs up, they hired all the cast, everyone was happy. So why were they looking at Ant-Man before Iron Man? I have no clue about that. I, f I think he, he enjoyed the idea of making things big and small, and uh, maybe he found... So it's not, it's not a, like a chronological thing for the uh, comic books or anything like no, that? No, I'm not sure why. I'm not sure why they were looking at that project, but they've been looking right. at it for a long, long time. Uh, and then, yeah, they get they hire everyone in. Everyone's happy to join, they, they know what their, their stuff's like, so they know they're going to make a good comedy caper. And six weeks before shooting, or even, for, you know, even less than that, a few weeks before shooting begins, they part ways with Marvel Studios. I think what it sounds like, and what a lot of people suggested, is that Marvel weren't happy with the tone of the movie. And time for a commercial break. Makes sense. I won't go into too many spoilers at the moment, but there was a cameo role which led to an action sequence. And compared to the one at the beginning and the one at the end, it wasn't as fun, it wasn't as interesting. It seemed like it'd just been thrown in. There wasn't as much humour and, and, and comedy, comedic lines around it either. Um, and that's what, they, uh, that's what has been suggested by a lot of people that. Um, uh, as it, I think the female, the female lead, even Jean, even Jean Lilly. Yeah. Um, she oh. even she's been quoted as saying that um, uh, it was a very the original movie was a very different tone and a very different pace, but it was set up kind of outside the Marvel universe, and I think Marvel wanted. Well, like should it was supposed to be outside the Marvel universe? It was kind of all, it was going to be in it, but not reference it. Really. It was just going to be a standalone, and he said this, uh, uh, quoted a bunch of times, it's a standalone movie, and I think Marvel got cold feet about this lone Ant-Man movie, because mm. he is, he, is a, he does in the comic books, he's the first Avenger, I think, pretty much. Um, right. So they wanted to tie him into the Avengers, and he was like, it's going to mess up the, comic, the pacing and the style of the movie, and uh, they had a bit, a bit of two and throwing, they walked away, and... Paul Rudd and the other guy, uh, the writer from um, uh, Anchorman, stepped in. They had six weeks to finish it off. Mm. Um, but they're all credited, so Joe Cornish's and Edgar Wright's vision is mainly there. Like, mm. 
Uh, but there's a thing with it. It did seem a bit of a mishmash, didn't it? There was a bit... I found lots of bits funny, and there were lots of bits that just weren't as funny at all. Mm. Well, it, it didn't feel like a Marvel movie to me. No? Well, what do you want from a Marvel movie? Well, I don't know. I didn't... I didn't get the sense that it was... There's references to Marvel characters and yeah. so forth, and I... I didn't believe they were in the same universe. I just... Does that matter? I didn't, well, I didn't believe it was in the same world. You look at the apocalyptic stuff that happens in other Marvel films, yeah. and I don't believe society was, you know... Um, in peril in this one? Well, not so much in peril, but aware of the existence of these magnificent people. Yeah, uh, but I can't... It, it felt like the normal, it felt like the real world. Yeah. It felt like he was the first ever person to do anything magical. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, I think that's the problem. When he started writing the script, he was going to be like the first yeah, one. Yeah, maybe. Um, yeah, I, I think they toned it down this one. Like, the Avengers 2 is crazy. There's a, there's a load of plot lines going everywhere, and there's a massive, massive fight. These ones are the fights are a lot more sparing. It's a heist movie. But that's the thing. It didn't even commit to being a proper heist movie either. There was, there was action sequences there. But there was some I really enjoyed. Like the ones you would have seen in the trailer... I thought the one with Thomas the Tank Engine going around, I thought that was great. Yeah, it was, fun. Uh, it was all right, but I, I mean, I was expecting them jumping from carriage to carriage and things like that. There's a bit of that, but yeah. I mean, I, as I said to you earlier, it's they shot their load with the train joke in the trailer. Yeah. And that was it. So that spoiled that sequence for me. Yeah. And and all of, all of the information I read about it, they were talking about that train sequence, yeah. it lasted about 30 seconds, yeah. and I knew the main gag. Yeah, uh, I, think, <laughs> I think that's what, I could, well, Marvel have said they wanted to make it bigger, and maybe there was only those few action sequences with a bunch of comedy, and they, that's why they threw in the cameo fight, and things like that. Um, but you don't need, I don't think you need massive action sequences no. to make a good movie, and there's a, quite a lot of the time in the Marvel Universe there's these massive action sequences and you just lose interest eventually. Um, there's a few that make... Uh, 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 the Winter Soldier does a fantastic job at keeping you interested. Whoever the um, choreographer was for that, hats off to you. Really, really good. Um, edge of your seat stuff. This one, it, wasn't, it was never going to be edge of your seat stuff. It was more comedy. As a movie I, didn't need, I didn't need edge of my seat stuff. I went there prepared for either a serious sort of Marvel romp. Yeah. Or I went there for a comedy. Yeah. Either which I didn't mind if I received one of the two. And I don't think I got either. Yeah. Um, so, Paul Rudd, were you happy as him as that man? I like Paul Rudd. Paul Rudd's okay. He's likeable, isn't he? He's, he? he's Paul Rudd. Makes sense. You go and watch a film and you, you watch an actor and sometimes you see someone portraying a character and you see that character. You identify with the character rather than the actor. In Paul Rudd's case, which isn't actually a bad thing, I don't think, you see Paul Rudd. I still see the bloke I saw in Friends. Yeah, he plays, he's, he's the underdog in this, he, he plays it pretty well. Yeah, he, there's, no, there's, no, there's no problem. He does the awkward joke and things like that. Oh, I've just made this awkward, oh, I'm going to shoot off over here yeah. now. And all well executed, but it's just... Lightweight. It's, it's not lightweight. hilarious, is it? It's lightweight. Yeah. Would you like to become a cat burglar? <laughs> I would probably be as good as a cat burglar as he was. He has become a cat burglar. I'm the. Uh, <laughs> that is that is Paul Rudd being a cat burglar. <laughs> There's one scene which shows him <laughs> dancing up very well, Jackie yeah. Chan style, up, yeah. up some uh, up some houses, up some walls. <laughs> Absolutely. My days of breaking into places and stealing stuff are over. And I'm pretty sure it wasn't Paul Rudd. With a that. backpacker over yeah. one shoulder. Um, but he, he gets caught every time, doesn't he? He's <laughs> not, not a very good guy. He's not. Yeah. No. And he just... It's just... It's just... It feels like it's done for the sake of being done. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is who he is. He's I, don't a think, I don't think anyone's begging for an Ant Man movie, were they? It wasn't the top of their list, really. It's been, what, it's been in development for like 80 years, and nobody, nobody really wanted to put pen to paper on this one. No. I know Marvel 
we'll get well, might as well give this out now. When Marvel just looked at their, all their money, they're like, well, fuck it, why not? Let's churn out Ant Man. So, well, it works, doesn't it? Yeah. What, what this film stinks of is. Just. Ticking boxes? Yeah. On the spreadsheet? Of like, yeah, this is what it, we all need to succeed. Guys in suits saying, hey, this works, this will make you money. So, it costs 130 million to make, which is cheap by a Hollywood movie budget, really. What's especially for Marvel. 120 domestic in America and plus another 120 worldwide. And yeah. The movie's not over yet. It's, it was, the cinema's pretty empty tonight yeah. when we went to see it, but it's still going to be more money. I mean, if I was getting a dividend, I'd be complaining yeah, about that. So, yeah. they've almost doubled their money on there. So, 130 million into their bank, which is, there you go. You can churn out another movie for that, can't you? Mm. And Man Man too. Yeah, Man <laughs> too. So basically he's Robin Hood, he's ripped off some some uh, some bad some baddies with money yeah. uh, and given it back to people, got caught in the jail, uh, lost contact with his kids and he wants he wants to become a, he wants to become the hero and help him out. At which point Michael Douglas steps in as Hank Pym, mm. uh, who was the previous Ant Man. Uh, he's a very toned down Hank Pym. Hank Pym's a very controversial comic book character. I won't get into it here. Uh, and uh, uh, he helps him. No, oh, I'm interested. Tell me about Hank Pym. Right, Hank Pym. I don't, I'm not an expert on him, but he was a drunk and he was a wife beater in the original Marvel comics. But well, that would have made him more interesting. Yeah, I don't think Marvel wanted to touch too much well, on that. I, I think that would have made him more interesting because when asked, well, why don't you be the Ant Man, he merely said, Oh, it's taking its toll on me, and then glazed yeah, over it's it. It's a cop out line. It yeah. was a cop out. Right at the beginning, I enjoyed the you know the Tron effect, yep, making him younger. Yeah. I know they've just done it with Varney um, in Terminator, but I could see past that. I, yeah. I I I found I might be completely wrong. It might have just been really good makeup, but I believe it was CGI. Yeah. But, but I found it very believable. Right yeah. in the beginning, I thought, wow, they've done a good job there. I, I thought that just was how he looked and they made him look a bit older than the rest of the movie. I'm not sure. I'm no, 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 because I saw him on the one show, the BBC yeah. One show, and he, no, he is that haggard. He was looking older. Yeah, well, he's a sexer. Well, what, why doesn't he uh, do what Harrison Ford and Paul McCartney did and have a bit of a nip tuck? Because well, they were starting to get bollocks under their chin. <laughs> They, the old t- turkey neck. Yeah, yeah. And then <laughs> suddenly they, oh, the bullets <laughs> disappeared. Yeah, they did. Oh, I hope mine never. They were neutered. Yeah, well, to be honest, yeah. I, I, I'm not any plastic surgery myself. <laughs> um, if I start getting bollocks on my chin, I'd definitely straight down there. Go get rid of them. Uh, Catherine Zeta Jones is still with him, so he's doing something right. Are they still together? Are they not? I thought they were divorced. Uh, said some crazy I heard they meet on the weekend. Oh, okay. <laughs> And I, and I think Paul Rudd really wasn't needed. He wasn't a very good cat burglar. <laughs> yeah, fair He's enough. just like, here we go. We found some random do-gooder who's yeah, yeah. down on his luck. Let's make him Ant-Man. Yeah. He's not particularly skilled in fighting, although he uh, scraps a little bit in a basement and all of a sudden he gets a six-pack. I imagine he, that was, they were there for... Three hours maybe working on this. Yeah, no, no, they said they, possibly. they said they only had days. That's how long it take me. Yeah, they only had days <laughs> to sort themselves out. Uh, right, it's always worth a mention the bad guy. You tried to hide your suit from me. Now it's gonna blow up in your face and destroy everyone you care about. I didn't actually think he was too bad a bad guy in this. I just thought he, he didn't was have a, much depth. Didn't no, he? he was very simple. Yeah, he was a simple bad guy. But that's all right. I mean, I wasn't too bothered with the storyline. Yeah, you enjoyed that bit. I, I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, <laughs> not shaping up well for Hatman. <laughs> yeah. I didn't enjoy elements of it, but yeah. I was content with the storyline. Yeah. He's a successful scientist, stroke businessman of a with, with daddy issues. With daddy issues, and he kind of wants Hank Pym to be his dad, doesn't he? And obviously, yeah, Hank well, Pym, why don't you love me because sort of you're not my son? <laughs> Basically, oh, right. he says it's too much like him, so mm. I guess a, a wife beating uh, alcoholic. What, so, so he decides he decides to sell out to um, what are they called Hydra, <laughs> Hydra, yeah, <laughs> Hydra offering tons of money. What could go wrong? Yeah, 
Do you reckon Hydra were thrown in as well? Do you reckon that was a rewrite thing? They just threw in. Oh, no, they're, they're crow They're crow yeah. They're crow <laughs> To be honest, uh, they well, didn't say or do anything in the movie. No, they just... <laughs> they were just there. And then Captain America waved in the background as well. And then a few other Avengers just walked by. <laughs> like, where is this movie? Um, they did absolutely nothing, did Yeah, they? like, to be honest... <laughs> Yeah, it's because it, it lacked a little bit of direction. Like in um, uh, Guardians of the Galaxy, the, no one really cares about the bad guy. He's just there to give the good guy something. No, but I actually thought he was a good bad guy. Well, in Guardians? Yeah, he was like skeletal about the skeleton. Yeah, but what does he do? He waves his hammer around. Yeah, but that's all right. Yeah, I don't no. need much from my bad guy. Yeah. I just need to believe that they're bad. The, but my point is that is that the good guys in this weren't quite as funny and char- charismatic enough for... Because the story wasn't enough about them. It was, it was about them, but it wasn't as good as saying Guardians, where you you don't care what they're up against. They're just there. It's there there's jokes and they're well, going to have fun on well, the way. Guardians are a great example because it's just a fun rock. Yeah. This, I think, if they wanted to be like Guardians, even though Guardians are a massive success, but they kind of wimped out a little bit, didn't they? Well, they didn't commit to it. Yeah. They didn't, they had, they, they, they wheeled out Paul Rudd to do a couple of awkward moment jokes. Yeah, which was che- fine. Yeah, it, 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 it was fine. I don't have a problem with Paul yeah. Rudd, but I just don't think it was completely geared towards being a comedy. No, it should have been. I, I really yeah. finished it just that Edgar Wright have his way, and, and I, yeah. I, 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 it could have been another hot fuzz of Shaun of the Dead, but they uh, they sent him on his way. It just it just felt sterile. Yeah, it'd be marvelised. Yeah, which but I, I never really thought Marvel. They've got, Marvelize they've got a formula now. Yeah, yeah, Move on to uh, some of the side characters. And probably the highlights were, I'm sorry, I don't know his name, but I know him from End of Watch, the Hispanic character in it. Yeah. Plays a bit of a Forrest Gump sort of character. He's good. Uh, he's, he's, he's a likeable simpleton. Yeah, he is. He's, yeah. His general face throughout the whole movie is this. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a funny airhead. And some yeah. of the highlights mm. of the movie are, which I'm sure has Edgar Wright and Joe Conch all of it, is when he's talking about what he got up to. Because <laughs> he goes yeah. to, considering he's a convict, he goes to a, a super, wine taster. Yeah, yeah, he? and an art gallery. Yeah, which is funny. That's immediately yeah. funny because you don't expect mm. him to do that. And then he tells stories and he gets sidetracked. That's all really good fun. So I also got the rapper T.I. in Lee. He doesn't do a great deal. He no, he's all right. right. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's, 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 all right. it's, a, it's a neutral henchman. Yeah, and then it's, it's, it's also got some Eastern European computer. He doesn't do much either. It's yeah. very, Apart from refer to gypsies. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Which I thought was near it's to the gypsy bone. Gypsy magic. Yeah, yeah, I quite like that. That was near to the bone. And I didn't expect that. So that I got a, I got a cheeky laugh out of that. Um, yeah, so they were good fun. Uh, there wasn't much in uh, Even Jin Lily, who was playing Hank Pym's daughter. She didn't do a great deal, did she? She's quite good at fighting. You want to show me how to punch? Show me how to punch. That's a punch. I guess. Well, she had all of the skills to be Ant Man. Yeah, true. Yeah, all of the skills, yeah. but he won't let her for no reason. Well, really. he didn't want to lose her. I think it's a pretty decent enough. Yeah, but we're talking about the end of the world. Yeah. Supposedly the end of the world. It's a bit selfish. He's an alcoholic woman, but yeah. He's got well, he's not though, is he? <laughs> he's not in this now. No. This is just very sad. Yeah. Um, as uh, Hobbs pointed out in the movie, probably a better weapon was the weapon that nobody used. Yeah, before they could perfect it. Yeah. <laughs> Just turned everyone into goo. Yeah. Gay. Gay. That was a pretty powerful <laughs> weapon. I'm sure Hydra would have been really happy with that. Yeah, goo weapons are fun. Yeah. yeah. So long, Hulk. So long, Captain America. <laughs> goo. You've got goo. Who needs his time? We'll man? be wiping you up off the floor. Yeah, there's some set, nice set pieces. There's some silly set pieces as well. Uh, there's one where there was a they used a t- miniaturized tank and made it big. Well, they wasted that. You yeah. called it when you saw it on the on um, Michael Douglas's key ring. And he's got a fob of a tank, and you just see it throughout the film. And then all of a sudden, when they need to escape. They burst out of the building in a tank and fall about eight stories. Yeah, and they don't die. No, they don't die, and it leaps and it doesn't fall flat on its nose. Yeah, it's a good tank to be in, though. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for a, especially for a Second World War well, one. I guess the A team can fly a tank. Why can't they drive a tank through a building? Well, maybe, yeah. Uh, and pick up the acceleration yeah. to get out of it. Okay, so hobbsy has been not too positive so far about Ant Man. So, what did you actually enjoy? Did you actually enjoy the movie overall? Was there bits you liked, or you just. You, I I came out of the cinema and I didn't feel shafted for having well you actually paid. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. 
But I didn't feel you'd been shafted. No. I didn't I didn't feel as though it'd been a waste of time going no. to see it. But do I think it will be lost in the sands of time? And yes I do. Yeah, maybe. I thought it was a little bit bland, a bit cardboardy. It was it's not going to be on my Christmas DVD list. Like, there was nothing revolutionary about it. There was nothing particularly unique about the storyline. No. And I even, I even called the end that you'll, you'll be. What was the end's name? Anthony. Anthony. Sorry, that's really obvious. Yeah. Anthony, the end. Yeah. I, I, I called that we would make friends with a really sweet aunt that helps him out, and the aunt will die, and. Did I have more of a connection with Anthony than I did with the ant in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids? And no, I, I didn't. Little, I love that little player. Yeah. Anthony was the highlight of the movie for me. It's was he really? Movie, no, not at all. No, no I cared about Anthony, did they? No. I thought, I suggested it could have been funny if as soon as Anthony died, he fell onto another Anthony. And then, let's go, yeah. Anthony. That would, that would have been funny. Yeah. That, I, would, I would have laughed at that. But <laughs> that's it. Scott, you got to mention it, although it's mainly given. The effects, they were, they were good, pretty good effects. I watched the interviews of the cast um, before we went to see this, and they spoke about how they nearly all mentioned, oh, there was a macro unit. Yeah. So zooming in and making it look as though that the elements were larger and so yeah. forth. And do you know what? I looked out for that. I still saw a lot of green screen. Think. And I thought there was a lot of stuff that moved too quickly where I couldn't quite focus what was happening. Yeah, that's that's a way of hiding stuff, isn't it? Though? Um, I thought the bath looked really convincing. The bath was good. Maybe not so much when in the, the dance floor disco. That looked okay. And then where else did he end up? Uh, the you, Hoover? The Hoover, that's uh, fine. Well, what about when he went subatomic? I mean, you're a physician. No, you're not a physician. <laughs> I'm a physicist. You're yeah. a physicist. Uh, so does, is, that, is that what atoms and that look like when you go super... When, when we're talking quantum physics? I imagine that they've done an interstellar and done tons and tons of research into it, and I think that's probably... Bollocks, spot I don't believe what I saw. <laughs> An interstellar, they actually uh, <laughs> met with scientists and used a supercomputer for monster model and influenced, mm. uh, influenced scientists thinking on black holes and changed a few theories. No, I don't think it looked, it looked pretty. Um, so yeah, Ant-Man. Would you recommend it? No. You're going no? Okay. No, I wouldn't recommend it. No? Well, it's no different to any of the other Marvel films. Um, I would recommend Ant-Man, but just... It's Why? I thought it was funny. I trolled a lot. I enjoyed I, any time that the team, the little team of idiots. You did laugh there, a lot, didn't you? Yeah, I found it funny. Um, I want, the thing is, I wanted to laugh. Just passing recommendation. I know for Humzy, he, he wanted to laugh. Yeah. But he couldn't um, get through to his dark, dark heart. Well, it's just getting darker, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe we should go watch that emotions movie. Oh, I'd be the little red guy, wouldn't I? <laughs> the angry man. Yeah, but. Is that, does that look good, the Pixar thing then? I've heard really, really good reviews for it, like across the board. Like, oh, well, that's okay. The, the BBC reviewers were crying, and they were like, it's fantastic. Really? Yeah, it's, it's amazing, yeah. Okay, well. Pixar have done some classic. No, I love Pixar. Yeah. I love Pixar. Um, I would say Toy Story's right up there for me. One, two, or three. One. Okay. Yeah, but they get, and I'll tell you why, because they don't have the little soldiers as much in the others. <laughs> right. But what about three with Hunzo? Well, not a lot. Saying that three when they're about. Hunzo's the a fantastic villain. Which one? <laughs> he's the bear, the evil yeah, yeah, bear. He's, yeah, he's good. He's really he's good. fucking evil. The good thing, <laughs> the good thing about number three was, I genuinely believed they were going to be incinerated. Yeah, yeah. I, well, no, I no, no, I genuinely believed it. I thought well, it's got to end. How's he going to win? And wouldn't that be a? I was thinking at the time. Wow, wouldn't that be a great comment on society? Yeah. These things that we love, we just dispose of <laughs> and I thought that's how I thought how it was going to go so they convinced you that's oh great. I they bought did, it job, yeah. oh I bought it hook run sinker <laughs> and so when they were saved I, I, I felt myself being relieved yeah. and so um, yeah, I enjoyed it yeah that's that's a sign of a good movie that even though 
But well, I was pretty I'm, sure it's not ever going to happen that they can kind of, for a few seconds, convince you that oh, the unbelievable. I was. I, that yeah. never happened in this movie. We never felt. We never felt no, fear I, for anything. If movie. any of the characters had died, I wouldn't have been bothered. Or you would be surprised though. Did you say? Ant Man would have surprised me if it had yeah. died. <laughs> but I thought maybe Pim might cop it. Cop it, but no. He was but he got shot, and I didn't even Everyone care. Everyone get shot in these movies. No, but I didn't care. Yeah. Did you care? No. Yeah. Uh, and then I remember in the next scene he had a sling and I was thinking well, you got a sling <laughs> and then he got shot <laughs> yeah that's the sign it, it, it had some fun moments uh, it had some interesting action which hasn't been really done before as far as I know it's a high well, what, was the inter- what was interesting about the action i tell you what made me laugh yeah. was when they were showing sort of like second world war footage of these soldiers being punched oh. and you couldn't see what was punching them yeah, you yeah. see people flying around Randomly, and that, I enjoyed that. What movie are we going to review next? Well, you want to do Fantastic Four, don't you? Yeah! That's where he wants to do. Yeah! He's been in with me. I want to do Fantastic uh, Four. Right? Fantastic Four sounds amazing. Well, I saw the trailer for it the other week, and I thought, I'll give it a whirl. I quite like, I quite like the science spin on it, where they said, uh, going into another dimension or whatever, and I don't really know the Fantastic Four. All I know that you go and Griffith and had an attempt at it a few years yeah. ago and that was it and I thought well I can't really see Hornblower as someone all, all that needs to be said is with two or three weeks left or maybe longer than that of shooting the director stopped turning up <laughs> <laughs> and, the, and he caused $800,000 worth of damage to the house he was renting uh, and he got fired from filming a Star Wars spin-off because of his performance in this movie and I think it was three weeks before uh, the full release still filming reshoots and there's there's movies finished by producers it's gonna be fine <laughs> what's the age group for it do you know what age group uh, teenies it's always Is teenies it? yeah uh, even the characters in this are like younger than previous Fantastic Four characters so I've got to come up to Leicester to watch that then have I yep <laughs> okay well, thank you for watching. Yep, we hope you've enjoyed our movie review. And all our rambling. Cheers. Have a good evening. You tried to hide your suit from me. Now, it's going to blow up in your face and destroy everyone you care about. Scott, get out of there. Did you think you could stop the future? You're just a thief! No. I'm Ant-Man. I know. It wasn't my idea. Rambling. We can just add lib now. I go, I'll go crazy. <laughs>